So I'm at the Wyoming Territorial Prison in Laramie, Wyoming. And this is the warden's office. That's where he stayed here at the penitentiary. It's furnished as it would have been in 1897. Got a pump organ over here. And a tapestry showing some aristocrats. Fireplace. Yeah. And bird cage. Has a stove in there to keep everybody warm. And then here's the actual structure. This is the prison. And I believe that's the got a guard tower up there and you've got a stockade and the, the guard and the tower he can walk in back and forth. And the area up there and see the yard but also see the outside here. Here's another shot of the outside of the prison. Yeah, so this is what they'd put you in <coughs> when they brought you here. You might go by train and be in shackles to start with, but then you'd end up in one of these to actually take you from the depot to the, the penitentiary. So this is where they'd take your mug shot and then gave you your clothing and bedding. And then they'd escort you to your cell. It's called the processing room. Here is the warden's HQ. Got a, got a phone over there. Got some wildlife. Typewriter. Oh, yeah. This is the kitchen. They said the diet of people here at the prison, they would eat. Bread, oatmeal, potatoes, boiled meat, beans, vegetables, canned foods, and soups. The dining room was upstairs, um, so they had to be carried upstairs. So here is one of the cell blocks. Very confined space. Gotta love that. Mattress there, good old rope. Your wool blanket. Let's put some of your things. Get up, get down here. Some of the convicts, some younger than others. Hi. The most famous inmate who is here is this man right here. Now I've seen a film starring Robert Redford called Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This is Butch Cassidy. Some 
shackles, your uniform, got some locks here. Winchester rifle right there, model 1894. Some branding irons for cattle. Some law badges. Oh, this is nice. yeah, you know. Got a Stetson hat. Got some checks. Get your rope. Colt single action 44. 40 pistol from 1874. Got a bandana back there too. Got a safe that's been blown up it looks like. to the poor and stole from the rich. He saved a widow's ranch from being taken away by the bank. He was a good, bad guy. Well. Wow. Got some sticks of dynamite there. We go right there. There's some memorabilia. Which cafeteria? It's a cow. Got a bowler hat like which Cassidy wore. Yeah, he robbed banks and trains, that's what he did. But he met the same end as most outlaws. He was here for 18 months, though. That's how long he was here. So you have guard towers outside, and you have guard towers inside the cell blocks. And from this vantage point, you can see all three levels. So this is the dining hall. When they sat, they could not speak to each other, the, the convicts. They had to eat in silence. And then over here, the 
guards were stationed here. So they lived on site. They didn't live off site. And I think the um, the foreman of the prison, uh, he lived here at the penitentiary, but outside the actual prison itself in a, in a house with his wife. Here are the bathtubs that the prisoners used. They had to bathe at least once a week. Um, they had chamber pots though in their prison cells so they could do their business. Got a heater over there. Since they bathed once a week, they also had to clean their clothes once a week. If they didn't, then they would be punished. Got a sewing machine over there, got an iron. Yeah. So if the prison guard wanted to unlock all the cells all at once, Come over here. Pull this. Maybe a little more. <laughs> There we go. Well, I'm officially in the yard now. I can walk around out here and get my exercise, but I've got to go back to work here in a little bit. I like the swinging gates there, that way the wagons that we were looking at earlier. You get in. Here's our one-room schoolhouse. Got your potbelly stove to warm things up on, but also to keep this room warm. You got George Washington and Lincoln over there. Map of the U.S. Chalkboard. I'm looking for a dunce hat. I don't see one though. <laughs> Some coal and brain here. But yeah, all the uh, kids in the community would be in the same classroom together, all the different ages. Mirror the homestead, log cabin house. Wash your clothes in that, get your washboard. Walking on the snow. There's a kid's room. Got the church over there. 
garden. And in the back they've got in the back they've got some farm equipment. Yes, they do in the front.